Yes, hundreds of people were on hand for this summit, all from different walks of life. It was a collective response to the heroin epidemic. And while it's one of many and changes do come slowly, those in attendance say this is creating awareness and making a difference. Hundreds of people waging the war on addiction. Conferences like this, it brings together groups of people that would not normally be together and talk about these issues. A summit on substance misuse put on by the governor's office and other state agencies. The keynote speaker focusing on prevention and treatment, saying it should be incorporated into mainstream health care. Require a, at least a one semester course in uh, addiction and pain management for that matter in every state medical, every state nursing, every state pharmacy school. Um, and you'll be ahead of the curve. Dr. Thomas McClellan of the Treatment Research Institute says everyday doctors should be able to recognize the signs early on before it becomes a serious problem, much like the monitoring that's done for other chronic illnesses. Those things work in the early stages of almost every substance use disorder. They don't work once the person has fallen off a cliff and, and they need to be uh, completely rehabilitated. The summit included other sessions on topics like drug courts, ways to get help and community support. U.S. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack spoke as well. He was recently appointed by President Obama to lead an interagency effort focused on combating the heroin epidemic in rural areas. This is a state that is raising the awareness of this problem and I think once you raise the awareness once you understand that it's a disease and not some kind of character flaw, you can really begin to aggressively uh, address it, and I think New Hampshire is doing that. The governor also talked about a toll-free hotline that will soon be available for New Hampshire residents struggling with addiction. They will be able to call the number day or night and get advice and referrals immediately. Reporting live, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.